Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. I hope you don't mind, I have two special guests with me today and hopefully they'll be good, but we will see. Time will tell. Hello, hello, thanks for coming. Nice to see you. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my favorite things in the world, Craigslist. And before you think I'm a total weirdo, we're not gonna be talking about anything sketchy. We're gonna be talking about how to score really cool furniture and really cool home decor. Now, while I'm fairly new to YouTube, I've been blogging since 2011 and I've shared a lot of my scores and my finds over the years on the blog, but I've been going to flea markets and hunting for stuff on Craigslist pretty much since I've been able to decorate my own places. And I have found so many cool things over the years and I've picked up a lot of tips and tricks that I feel like I should share with you guys. Now before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about safety. I know you guys know how to be safe, but I feel like it just needs to be touched on just in case. If you've never bought anything on Craigslist before, I want to make sure that you're doing it safely because there are crazy people out there, so let's try to avoid that. My first tip would be to create an email address that doesn't have your last name in it. I always email email through the Craigslist system, which I recommend you do as well. Uh, but even then, it's probably best to have an email that doesn't have your last name on it, just in case somehow it shows through. Second tip is to never ever send money at, in advance of seeing something or getting something. And this goes for like even renting an apartment off Craigslist. I had a friend who got scammed out of $800 because the person said that they were out of town and that she needed to wire money. They looked really legitimate. They had an LA address and all this stuff and it ended up being fake and she was out $800. So never ever ever send money. Never ever send anybody your bank account info. If you're gonna buy something on Craigslist, buy it with cash. That's just the simplest, safest, easiest way to do it. My third tip is to always bring somebody with you when you're going to pick something up. And then my last safety tip, which I wouldn't really say is a safety tip, uh, just more of a tip when dealing with strangers, is to not be afraid to say no. If it's something that you thought you would have liked and then you get there in person and it doesn't look the way it did in pictures, don't be afraid to say no. Also, don't be afraid to ask for more pictures before you go out there. Sometimes these, these items are kind of a far drive and also, definitely ask for dimensions if they don't give the dimensions because that's always tricky. Things can look bigger or smaller on pictures than they do in person, so you want to make sure that it's going to fit your space. Thank you. So anyways, that's it. You guys know how to be safe. Just use your brain and don't give away any personal information. Okay, now on to the fun stuff. How to score the good deals. I think one of the most important things to being successful when finding a good piece on Craigslist is taking into account the keywords that you're using to search for something. Say you're looking for, very specifically, a Burlwood dresser. You don't want to type in dresser into the search bar because you're going to get like a thousand results of dressers in your area and they're going to be a range of stuff that's in the thousands that's really nice or stuff that's for $25 and it needs a lot of TLC and it's not what you're looking for. I really like to use keywords such as lucite, brass. I really like brass pieces. So I'll use keywords like that. There's actually a list of keywords that are good to search for that bring up good results. It's probably one of the best lists I've ever seen. It really touches on everything you would ever want to search for. I will link that down below so you guys can check that out. Say you've got a furniture brand or a furniture store that you like to shop at frequently, like CB2 or West Elm or Z Gallery. I always type in my favorite furniture store names into the search bar because a lot of times people will tag furniture that looks like it might be from one of those places. Another place to look on Craigslist, which sounds kind of weird, but I promise you can find some cool stuff, is the free section. A lot of times people will be moving quickly and they'll need to get rid of a bunch of stuff and they'll just list it for free. Even if it's not the coolest thing in the world, you can find some potential. What I like to do is find pieces of furniture that have a lot of potential. Maybe they're from a cool era or they've got cool pieces about it and refinish it. It's really not as hard as it seems to refinish a piece of furniture, whether it needs to be restained or just painted. And my last tip is just to be consistent and patient. If there's so many cool pieces on Craigslist, I was looking around my house the other day and I realized how many things I had gotten either from Craigslist or from a flea market 
and every single one has a story. For example, I got a dresser that is in my living room underneath my TV and it was somebody's mom's china cabinet. It was this older woman um, that lived in South Orange County and she gave me a hug when she sold it to me. She sold it to me for $100, I couldn't even believe it. It's a Drexel 1960s and it is like gorgeous. It's in great condition and every time I look at it, I think of that story. I picture this woman's mom, you know, back in the day, using this as her china cabinet. And to me, that's so special. It's so much more special than just buying something new in a store and everybody else has it. Another piece that I have is our dresser in our master bedroom. It is burl wood on the front with a brass trim. It was a family's grandmother's, um, mother and grandmother's dresser. I walked in and saw the dresser and I was just like, oh yeah, we're taking it. I, I was in love with it and I think it was like $150 and they threw in a matching nightstand with it too because they were just so happy that I loved it so much. They were like, here, take the nightstand too. We won't even charge you more. I was like, okay, it was awesome. And at that same place, I got a really cool brass lamp for $20. I've seen similar ones that have been going for way higher prices than that, so I really got lucky there. My lamp next to my bedside, you can see it right there. My mom actually scored those for me. She gets Mom of the Year award. She knows I love Lucite and Brass, and she saw those lamps. Talked the woman down, got two of them for $25. I also got these mirrors that are on either side of our bed, and you can kind of see it right there. It's a faux bamboo, and I got two of them for $15 each, so for $30 total. But I have seen these bamboo style mirrors go for over $300 online. I don't know if those are worth $300, but they look like it, so I don't really care. Another favorite find is our dining room chairs that I got for $100. I got six of them. We drove to Santa Monica in rush hour traffic to get them, but I just knew I had to have them. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to find six dining room chairs for $100 anywhere like anywhere they were actually a like light pink velvet and we had them recovered in a vinyl a, um, a navy blue vinyl and they turned out amazing so those are all the tips i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed and found them helpful and i hope i've lit a fire and motivated you to do some craigslisting of your own if you have any questions maybe something i didn't touch on please leave it in the comment section down below also i would love it if you subscribe to my channel so i can continue making more videos for you i hope you have a great rest of your week Bye.